Kai is gonna listen to some of these guys. They're just gonna, bro, like, game's over. Game's over. I'm sorry. It's, it's genuinely over. I don't know why he was being so rude. I want to see the longevity of this game. That is why I'm speaking up about it. Donut, bro. Donut. Don't even know. You tell me you do PvP, you didn't even know how to look at a freaking match. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa Love 2 and 7 here and welcome back to another video. What did you guys think of that intro? I thought it was really cool. It was I was kind of flexing my my editing skills, not going to lie. Anyways, let's get serious. What's up guys? It's Alyssa Love 2 and 7 here and welcome back to another video. I know this is probably not a video you would like to see from me. And before anybody in the comments are like, "Well, what do you have to do with this drama? Why do you no, shut up. I literally was in the round table, so I don't want to hear it. And honestly, I've been pretty quiet about this whole situation. I haven't talked about it once. I did not make a single video once talking about the current state of Wizard World 1. I didn't even really tweet about it. I made one joke tweet about the Wizard 101 community. It was like a Mean Girls reference video. And then I actually tweeted out a couple days later something pretty positive about the changes that had been made. So I really haven't been talking about it before anybody says anything. I, re I literally, about a month ago, made a video about should you play Wizard 101 in 2024, and I said you should play Wizard 101. So I don't want to hear any comments saying that, why are you dissing the game, why are you boycotting, da 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 da, -da. I don't want to hear it. That's not what this is about. So the main reason why I'm here today and the main reason why I'm making this video is just mainly because I got a little frustrated with some of the things that were being said while this live stream was going on. And just another small disclaimer, I'm not going to be calling it a roundtable because as Fairy Queens has said, and if you don't watch her content, I'll explain, she really didn't advertise it as a roundtable. Now, I can't say for the other content creators who did title it as a roundtable, but she really did not advertise it as a roundtable. It was just a stream for a bunch of content creators to come together and just basically just go over their frustrations with the current state of the game. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, like if you've been living under a rock during this whole time this has been going on, um, I'm going to link Cheerval X video in the description box down below because she actually made a really, really good summary of the entire three hour live stream. So I highly recommend before you even jump into this video, give that video a watch first, just so you can know what was being said during the live stream. Let's start from the beginning. So pretty much Fairy Queens reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to talk about some of the things that had been frustrating us about the game because that same day on Wizard 101 Twitter, people had been complaining about things that were, they were unhappy about with the game. So she decided to do a live stream for people to express their complaints in hopes that King's Isle would listen. I personally think that is such a great idea and props to her for taking control and running something like that because I could never do anything like that. So props to her for that. And before anybody says anything, I've already said this on a couple of my streams. Um, I didn't fully agree with some of the things that were said during the stream. However, I do think that there were some valid takes that people made during the live stream. I myself didn't talk n nearly as much as anybody else. Um, I did say at the very beginning, I really wish that it was easier to get into PvP. I didn't like the fact that you literally, you quite literally have to raid in order to PvP because you might as well just say screw it if you're going to try to PvP without raid gear. Um, so that was one of my main concerns that I had spoke about. I had also brought up the fact that a lot of new players may not be familiar with Rochambeau's and advanced combat. So I just recommended that they come up with a tutorial so that people who still may not understand that type of stuff would have a better idea of how to do it. And that was really all that I had said during the live stream. And I just want to make something super, super clear because there's a lot of misconception of was this an open invite? Was this like invite only? Why were these people on the the stream? So I just want to make this very, very clear. It, there is a server for content creators that was made a year ago because Richard Unicorn Caller, if you don't know who he is, I'll link his channel down below. He wanted to do a content creator guild and he wanted to do a raid with all the content creators. So a year ago, he invited all the content creators to do a raid with him. And if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, I don't have the receipts, but I do remember Sauce's name being mentioned in the server to invite him. Now, was he invited? I don't know. Allegedly he was, I don't have the proof of it, so I can't say if he was invited a year ago or not. Regardless, this was an open invite thing. And with Austin the Sauce being the biggest content creator in the game, it was kind of assumed that he was already in 
the server so i'm not i'm just going to keep this short because i have no beef with him or anything i just want to make it clear that we weren't trying to exclude him in any way this happened very fast and i'm sure everybody that was involved had probably already reached out to him and apologized or whatever so i just want to make that clear that it's not that he wasn't invited it was just an open invite whoever could come could come and actually almond was actually in the server and we were talking about it in the server in the general chat of the server that anybody can join so i just want to make that clear that this was just an open invite anybody was able to join well if you were in the content creator server <laughs> now i'm not going to talk about awesome the sauce because like i said i have no beef he's already said his side of the story and he kept it pretty mutual and he was pretty respectful about it so i have nothing to say i like what his response was in terms of everything that happened so no issues on my end um i don't know about anybody else but i was pretty fine with how it came out and like I said, he's somebody that I've known for a couple years. I'm his mod, so I really have no issues with him at all. So I'm just going to move on. And one thing I would like to add too is Sauce made me mod as well just because of things people say to me in his chat. So just in regards to the stuff that was uh, shown of people talking to me a specific way in chat that was kind of toxic, forget it. It's whatever. I don't really care anymore it was just like i guess it was just like a weird night for all that stuff to go down so personally all the comments and stuff that were said that night i don't really care okay so we're going to talk about the main reason as to why i'm uploading this video today if you don't already know the real omen went live while fairy queens was streaming while he was streaming he had really nothing nice to say about what we had to say pretty much it was completely negative he went live with negative intentions a lot of the things that he said were extremely rude he was belittling us it was just very it just wasn't like something a content creator should do uh, so I guess I am kind of You're, there you go yeah. freaking donut bro freaking donut don't even know like, you tell me you do pvp you didn't even know how to look at a freaking match are like i think like all these people are an extra credit but some of these people should not be an extra credit bro if you don't even know anything about like, the game the and these are the players that are going to be on the round table for next week which has me like baffled as hell if this is where the game's heading bro like i don't even know so these unfortunately are really the only clips that i have of the live stream now i will say that almond doesn't keep his live streams up i wouldn't say that he necessarily deleted it but he does not keep them up after he ends his live stream. So I didn't have any access to his actual VOD, but that was pretty much like the entire tone of the live stream. It was just extremely negative. He called Fairy Queens like a, a donut, which quote unquote means stupid. It's just like, how disrespectful do you have to be to call other people that when they're just stating their opinions about the game? Now, I did see that Almond uploaded an hour-long video, by the way, when he called the live stream a yap session, when, ironically, he posts an hour-long video on the situation. Like, okay, anyways, he posted an hour-long video about the situation, and he pretty much just downplayed what was said on his stream. He made it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal when really it was with him being so negative during the live stream it was pretty much just enabling the chat to be toxic as well and say negative things about us and like i said it's not like he wasn't invited to the live stream and i noticed people kept asking him to join the call while he was live and he kept saying that he was just going to start arguments with us in the chat like i just don't understand like you can agree to disagree you don't have to be rude about it you don't have to call people names you can have an opinion of your own there's no saying that you can't but why not just join the call and mutually just talk to us and give us like points on why you don't agree with some of the things that we had to say i don't understand what was so hard about that but he wanted to do this he wanted to be toxic he wanted to go live and just basically talk crap the entire night and i'm not the only one that's like pretty much upset by this and i feel bad because a lot of people didn't even know that this happened until a couple days later like content creators from the actual live stream didn't even know that this was going on until literally yesterday so it really sucks that he was acting this way towards us now i'm going to read something that i read in the content creator server i'm just going to block out their name because I didn't ask um, if I could show their name so I'm just gonna read what they said it's okay to disagree but I won't lie it's honestly just so disrespectful to first off one react to the stream belittling us the entire time two delete comments to make your opinion look like the correct majority and three literally non-stop complain about us and try to invalidate us while enabling your own chat comments to belittle us at the same time it's a terrible look and so mature we're all on the same side as players we want wiz to be better and last as long as it can if you don't agree with certain points that's fine but we're entitled to our own opinions and should be respected for them we didn't harass the devs, we were calm. It was raw thoughts that we've all been thinking and saying them on stream where a large majority of the community was able to feel validated and felt great. 
And honestly, they couldn't have worded it better myself. It was such a great feeling to just go live and express our frustrations. And it was great that there was actually um, an actual dev in the chat too that was listening. And even the community manager, Spark, reached out and asked to see the VOD. So it's great that they're taking the time to listen to us. I think that's great. And that's really all we wanted out of this. In the comment that was made, point number two, where it says delete comments to make your opinion look like the correct majority, basically, Almond went on his YouTube channel and he created a poll that says, what are your thoughts on the content creator roundtable for Wizard 101? And honestly, the majority vote said good, so I was really happy about that. However, when there were comments that were kind of on our side of things, he was deleting them. And then comments that were more on his side that had nothing nice to say about us, he would leave them up. So in all honesty, I was just pretty disappointed with the way he was handling things, especially with that recent stuff with deleting comments and then the video kind of downplaying with what he was saying. I'm just disappointed. It's just kind of a letdown because I actually really do like Almond. I, I have respect for him. So for it to all go down like that was just kind of a letdown. And I really hope that he does reach out to some of the people that he hurt their feelings because I know he's friends with some of these other content creators and I know that a lot of like everybody that was involved is upset. So with us all being content creators, I just think that we should all be sticking together. We shouldn't be on sides like this. It's okay to have different opinions like I said before. I think we should just be handling stuff like this a lot better. We need to be respectful towards each other because at the end of the day, we're in the same community. We're going to be crossing each other's paths all the time. Like there's no need for that toxicity ever in situations like this when in all reality, the whole point of this was we want to see the game be better. And it's great that the community manager reached out to see this and there was an actual dev in the chat. Like we're, we're taking baby steps and they're listening. So it's a, it's a, the whole point of this stream really was for that and in all honesty all the feedback that we've got from this stream has really been good like 98 percent of the feedback really truly has been good so it really tells me we're not the only ones who feel like this so i'm just gonna wrap this up by saying thank you fairy queens for creating that live stream it really was a good experience on my end you know regardless of all the things that were said and Thank you to all the other creators that were there as well and that were speaking their minds. I think that it, we really did do something good for the community and it really opened up a lot of people's eyes. So I really do respect all of you guys for being on that live stream, no matter what was said, even if it was negative. I really do appreciate all of you guys and especially the community that followed behind us and was on our side and agreed that, that we could have some changes to the game. So I'm really glad that it turned out the way it did. That's all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this situation. And as for Almond, I still really like you. I was just really disappointed on the way that this played out. And I really hope that you do apologize to these people and you learn from this. Okay, I think that's it. Bye!